Hi, my name is John Walsh with The Logic Group, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate a three-board jumbo. With a three-board jumbo, we can easily digitize a pattern that is up to 5 feet by 12 feet in size, save it as a DXF file, and load it into a CNC software. The process of getting a DXF file only takes a couple of minutes. I have here a pattern here that's about 8 feet long. Uh, it's got uh, it's, it's a cardboard pattern I'm going to digitize right along the edges. First thing that I do on the pattern is I mark two reference points. I have one right here and I have one right here. I'm going to digitize those at the beginning. That allows me to move the, the, the template and then make changes to it. Um, I also have a spot here in the middle. Between the two boards I can't digitize. I can go across but I can't, can't digitize in the middle. I have marked on this, this uh, template where I'm not going to digitize. I'm going to skip that area, but then I'm going to come back and edit it and digitize that part in. First thing I do come into the software is I click this button right here to allow me to do my reference point. It's going to tell me what to do here. And then I just come in and I take the pen stylus and I've marked that reference point. I did just digitize it pushing down with the tip of the pen. I do that point there. And then I come over to my other reference point that I've marked. And I digitize that point there. And then it's all set up so I can make changes to it. I then come in and click the digitize button on the left. And I'm going to do tracing, which is freehand drawn. I could also do this with lines and arcs, but I'm going to do tracing. I click the start button. And the bottom of this thing is a straight line. So I'm just going to do those as two points. So I'm going to digitize a point there. I'm going to digitize a point over in this board over here. And it's going to show you on the screen how it did a straight line at the bottom there. And then I'm just going to take that pin stylus and I'm going to go right along the edge of the template, pushing down with the tip of the pen. And as I'm drawing on the board, it's going to show me on the screen there. See, there's the, the circle. I come up here and go along the, the top of the template. Move back over here, keep tracing along that template, and then I've marked on the template to stop right there. I'm going to skip this area here because the board doesn't allow me to digitize in there, but I'm going to come back and edit it. Then I'm going to come over here, keep doing the top, go around here, keep going around that template, around here. And then it's a straight line back to the bottom here. Go ahead and digitize a point at the bottom. And then as you can see, it's gone completely around. And then I click done. Let's say, do I want to connect to the first last point? And I'm going to say yes. Let's say I had some inside uh, patterns that I wanted to digitize inside. So what I'm going to do is come in here and click the start button got one of these little bowling pins. I'm going to digitize one of those. I click start and then I just take my pin stylus around that edge of that bowling pin, push down with it. It can go through the cardboard and I just trace with my pen all the way around that pin. All the way around and then I click done and it has that inside pattern. You want to connect to the first last point and I say yes. Um, I've got some circles here. I'm going to do a circle. To do a circle all I do is digitize any three points in the circle. I click start and I come into the circle and I digitize a point at the top. There and there. Any three points in the circle and then I click done. It'll tell me what the diameter is. I can change it if I want. I click OK and it will show me that circle on the screen here. Now I still have that, that spot on the top that I skipped. So I got to save this, file, save as. I'm going to call this bowl and then hit oh, save it. And then I'm going to clear my screen. Do I really want to do this? Say yes. I'm going to come in here and I got to move the pattern. So I'm going to move the pattern about a foot that way. And then that's going to allow me to digitize the stuff that I had skipped at the top. So I come in here and I load that file back up. So file, open file, and that file bowl. 
and then I'm going to say load with alignment. I click that and then click OK. And then it's going to tell me to digitize those two points. So I digitize those two reference points that I marked on the template to that point there. And then this point right here. Now I can make changes to it. So I come in and I click edit. And I tell it what I want to edit. And then I click edit portion. And then all I do is I just edit that stuff that I had skipped. And I'd marked on the template what I had skipped. So I come in here and I digitize just that stuff that I'd skipped. I can actually do a little bit more if I want. So I digitize what I skipped. And I come over here and you can see in red that's that new stuff that it's going to add into that DXF file. And then I click finished. And then it says, is this correct? Because it automatically adds it in the file. I don't have to do anything. I said, hit yes. All I have to do is digitize it. It will automatically connect everything for me. It's very easy, very fast, very accurate. Then I come in to create file. And then I call this bowl. And it will save the DXF file. And I hit save. And then that DXF file is all ready to be loaded into my CNC software. So with this Jumbo Tracer, with uh, three boards, <coughs> excuse me, I'm very, uh, can quickly trace a pattern and save it as a DXF file. If you have any questions about this product, please contact me. My name is John Walsh with The Logic Group. Thank you.